Guess I'll just wait until um I can see myself online on my phone. And then we can begin. Yep, get cool. So Okay. Look at the thing is like you know, to, you know, this one. Yeah. Cool. Anyways. Yes. So let's go ahead and begin. Um wonderful jazz all the music in the background. So we will um today do some basic uh setting up over the VR chat world because I have not set this world up at all, it's simply just stuff already from the game. So let's maximize this nicely and then let's see look. Let's see stuff behind it. Yeah, so we're gonna be do working on the uh, these ambidex rooms here. We're gonna be working on these guys today and making it that you're actually starting in the world. So first off um we need to set up the world, right? So I'm gonna Make this object here, uh, whatever. I'll have to zero it out because I want to do that. And put everything in there. Ooh. Cool. Look at all that. So, now, next off, we're going to give this a DRC world. Or world. Scene descriptor, so that is. So, this is the scene descriptor. Um, can do random spawns, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to drop the spawn right in front of the nine door. Yeah, so, let's do that. So, when you drop the spawn, you uh, make a new object and say, uh, basically, give it the actual location of the object, and it will spawn the player at that object. So, you do this, you need to rotate 180 degrees. Why is it not rotating? Whatever, let's just, okay, let's just do the rotate the right, the right, let's try that. Yeah, wait, it's 180 degrees. Um, okay, sure, whatever. We'll, we'll test this later. Um, so, that means that when I spawn as a player, I will um, go right there. So, let me try that right now. I have to put it up. Spawns one. Just spawn here. First. Line of player with spawn point. Respawn height. Behavior at respawn. I'll work on these layers. Fall, voice fall off is important, but yeah. Use the settings. Am I literally not logged in? Well, I'm not gonna log in the stream. Oh, I am good. I am logged in. He he he. Got he. Oh, I don't need this anymore. Okay, so. What I really need is failed control panel. And this will let me test my world. Once it decides to load. Yeah, okay, so drop this in here. Um, I like it over here, so yeah. Mess with this mess a little bit. So, um, here's special version. Players are not yet configured. Please press the players to apply that. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
Yeah, maybe that's fine. I don't have any custom layers at this point. Sub closing layer matrix. Wow. Yes. Okay. I didn't. This is probably a new thing that um, is for the new update because I downloaded the most recent version. Um, what else do I have to do now? Okay. I pressed the button. Okay, good. So I'm gonna go ahead and test a new build. Test a new build. So it'll build everything. And then you should be dropped right in front of that nine door. Right in front of that nine door. So after this, we're going to be working on. We're going to be working on. Uh, Moving between moving to the ambidextrums and voting and triggers and all that all that good stuff. So no, you know what happened there. You guys know what happened because I know what happened. Uh, can I please? Okay, I guess I can. Close window. Please close the window. Cool. So. What happened there? Because this floor isn't solid, doesn't have a collider, we we would just flow right through it. First off, get off that VR chat tab because it lags like hell. Click it off, we need to give colliders to all of this stuff. Might be annoying, but um Yeah. So um is there an easier way to have colliders probably. But like the thing is we can't use custom colliders. We have to use just uh Flat or er, uh, sphere box colliders, plane colliders, because custom colliders don't work for VR chat. As some of you guys know, the custom colliders have more vertexes and it's a lot, a lot more laggy for the, the system to handle. So I think the easiest thing to do for me is just to add, add a plane um, and just say uh, warehouse. Let me just see, let me see if I can um, add mesh color. Is there a plane color here? Box color, let's try that. Right. Cool. So let's do that. We then say doing this player thing. So at this point, so because of that, it was able to select all the extent of the corners there and get a pretty good box which actually covers the entire thing so i got pretty lucky there <laughs> so um to do the same thing for the walls right so not that's not a wall and then these ab rooms as well right there i don't know how it's gonna work <laughs> just did the whole thing okay um Okay, so that's probably not good. Um, I may as well add a whole bunch of mini colliders here. Cool, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this collider. We're gonna make this into four colliders so that um, so that we basically block off the area. Um, so let's just set this X size to like one, right where point one, right where point one, right. And then this guy is. Nah, let's not do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's make a new object for each of these things. Box collider. We copy this component, right? Move it or leave it here for whatever. Paste this component values. So now this can be copy it. And let's do this. Along. I can move it like that, right? F for focus.
Why does that move upwards? Maybe it did, maybe I'm just dumb. Oh no. Oh, so this is rotated. Yes, yeah, because um, so this is rotated or something like this. The whole thing might be rotated, that's why. I'm just gonna keep all of these values. Super X. So now we gotta do the same thing again. Paste, copy these values, paste it here. So this, make these one, so let's do the, the uh, and let's do zero. So if it turns lightish green, then we know it behind it, right there. Okay. So and that should work. That should work fine. So I copy this guy. Let me move it back here. Obviously, this is going to be a bit tweaking, but for now. And then we copy this guy and drop it over here. Cool. So now we have a lot of walls. So now, when I click this button, build a new thingy. We shall actually fall onto the floor and we should be able to move around. Which I will have to get sometime later, but look at that man. I'm so slow. I'm so slow. Now you look at that. Only the nine doors, the nine door guys. Look at that. I can't jump either. I also go through these. Ooh, what's in here? It's actually not what's in there. But yeah. So yeah, this is this is the warehouse that happens in the bridge that's a work. It's a really nice big area that you can uh, do whatever else. And you see the shadow, the dynamic light, which probably is making this really slow. You know, look at that glowing light in the shadow. No, that's me. Okay. Um, I can see they locked, locked, and that's the thingy there. So now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna click this button, and this is going to open the door. This door here, and it'll play a little sound clip that says that the, the, the doors have been opened. And then after that, we're gonna be able to enter the ambidex room, vote, and then have that vote be recorded. So it's cool. So let's um Yeah, I'll get into lighting later. We can we can look at this and go to that. Cool. So next. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, I'll press on the door, press on the button, right? This thing here, look at that, nice, nice. So what we're gonna do to this thing, is we're going to add, um, a box collider, right? So you need to be able to actually press it. Um, it's a trigger. And then we're going to add um, a VRC trigger so that the user can actually interact with it. Um, we're going to add an on interact trigger so that's when the user hub clicks on the thing, right? 
point to the pointer and click slide. That's what that is. Interact. So on interact, forward buffer one. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, plain second. Open and the text door or gate. That's what it's called. Gate. Approximately two. So what that will do is that will open this door, right? And then when you enter the room, it'll actually te teleport you to the to the other room. So uh, let me first of all find these, this door. So this one, two, three, four, right? So those four. So I'm going to create another object. It's like a uh, gate, right? So this gate here. Drop this here. One, two, three, four. Put this under the gate. And then what so this will do? I can manually toggle the gate on and off, and it will show you, hey, look this. Why is it so light in there? Oh, that's the light. That's the light. Wow. Okay. Anyways, yeah. So, number six is, uh, um, I don't know what this is called. I forget. Uh, open door. Uh, yeah, sure. So, I'm in this. So, right. So, this opens the gate. So, when you interact with it, you want to set game object active and we want to do this to this and the next gate that we created and we want to set it to false so that means it gets it activity which is this toggle here that gets it to false so as soon as you do that it's set to false also we want the music or the sound to play right so first of all let's go ahead and drop a sound in here Empty. Um, sounds. Create empty. Um, open gate. Sound. Audio red. Oh, must be on this. Wherever. Uh, audio source. Right. So what we want to do is we want to do um, play on awake. We're gonna take the sound, right? Audio clip. And we just it's gonna open. So that's our audio clip. By the plan on wake, don't loop. Line is fine, pitch fine, stereo, pan, spatial blend. Um, spatialization enable. I think that's the toggle that um, makes it so that it's solid. There's no. Um, it applies to everyone at the same way. So we, we don't want this sound to only hear, only apply for the people really close to it. We want to, yeah, space, we don't want space like so. Game zero, attenuation. Eh, it's fine. Whatever, we'll, 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 we'll work on it. So, drop level zero. No, you were allowed to do that. Um, I think there's some other settings I'm forgetting here, but whatever. Anyway, so this is what this audio is. So now we need to disable this, and when we click this thing, right, we want to set that to be active. So basic event setting as active. For our sound open gate to be true. Cool. So now let's go ahead and test this again. If I would click on the thingy. So now our new build. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and test this. So,
I envision this map being, I don't know how big it'll be, but yeah. That's a can jump, and I was also hella slow still. I need to like, copy this floor, turn it upside down. Let's do something. Okay, so, now that I'm really close, right? So I'm really close to this. I'm putting my thingy over it. It highlights the whole mess. It's open Evidex gate, right? So I'm gonna open it. Splash this guy. So I open the door, you know, look at me. Until game closes. Okay, so that's fine. That works fine. If I press this again, it won't do anything because the audio is already active. Um, so yeah, I'll, 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 I'll work on that later. But yes, yeah, so the door opens, so we want to make it so that when you go in here, you teleport. Or we just want to make it that like a dark window. But yeah, so you go in here, you teleport to the actual AB room, and then you're able to vote. Um, and also, 45 minutes is too long. I'm not going to actually have 45 minutes between Ambidex polling. That's, that's, that's just not a good gameplay experience. Um, cool. So yeah, let's... Uh... Also, it seemed that it was only playing from one ear. So I need, I'll maybe work on that. I want to open my other project and see how I did it, but... Um... So I'm gonna look this up in one second. Uh, um, so, so what is this? Oh, this is the sound. Whatever, I can hear the sound. I'm gonna start just toggle some stuff. Uh, I got off the VR chat tab. VR chat tab lags you every freaking time. Volumetric radius. Oculus attenuation. Just look spatialization. Whatever. Yeah, so there's definitely like a small toggle that I really need to really need to pick, but I don't, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah. Now let's pick space later. Okay, that's good. So now we have that. So now let us teleport ourselves to the room, right? This room, where are we? Turn on the room. The Ambidex room. This is the actual, the actual inside of the room. Right? So we're gonna. First of all, move this really far off. Do you guys know how we do that? I'll give you a second. So you guys know the silent room from, from Murder Mystery, right? So the reason it's there is because walls don't actually block sound in VR chat. Walls don't actually block sound. So we need to spread these rooms out so that no one can hear. Because if you're talking in this room, we don't want people talk people hearing you from the next room over. So I'm gonna move this all the way over here, right? You know, focus on this guy. So there's also another light here. It's a very nice room. I do say so myself. Okay. So uh, teleport to here, right? So why do we need to teleport someone? We need an uh, object that has a spawn, right? So that we can spawn them at a certain point. So in this AB room, we need to dump an uh, object. Spawn, right? Spawn. Um, move it up. It's already a little bit inside. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the right spot. And we just need to rotate it 100 degrees so that the blue arrow is pointing this way. So, uh, wait, is that under the thingy? 
Mine, okay, I just I click this thing. So I guess it might be under the thing. Cool, so I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. So that I don't, um, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's that's my spawn point. So I might rename this later, like AB, like, yeah, AB spawn one. That's the first room. So now we want something on mesh 62, but not actually mesh 62. Wait, this thing, no, this guy. Right. So this Amidex gate is going to guard another thing, right? So, right. so this is going to teleport to the AB room. Um, you know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheat box collider, right? What? What's the size of it? Okay. Oh, never mind, I guess we can't cheat. Oops. So, um... Here, where, where is this object? Um... So now we need to give it a box collider, right? The box collider stuff, people can interact with it. So, and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Three... Um... Two... So that we get the full thing to be two, three, uh, three, two, right. So this thing needs to be blocked here so that whichever person enters the room will be teleported to the other one. I also need to give these um these rooms colliders, don't let me forget that. So now that we have this box collider, right? We need to give it an, an interact or a trigger so that we can on collision because the player is going to collide um, on enter collider. So when the player enters this collider, they're going to trigger this action, which is it's a teleport player action. Teleport player. Right. So then we teleport the player to AB spawn. You got it. Alignment destination. I don't know what that is. I will not check that for now. So as soon as you walk into the room, then you will teleport over there. Now let's drop something over here. So the whole premise behind this AB game is that when you open the door or when people um, open door, there is a people can vote betray your ally. The whole concept behind Virtues as a War is that people need to get nine points to escape and they start with three and if they're sort of actually two groups against each other and if they both work together, they both put pick ally, then they both get points, but if one person picks betray, then that person gets more points and the other person loses points. So sort of like a prisoner's dilemma sort of thing. So we're going to sort of, you know, start to set up colliders on this. Good thing I <laughs> because it's important that we have, uh, because we don't want to fall to the floor. Um, mesh one. Oh, that's a whole that's the big thing. <laughs> I have box slider, yeah, so we'll do that that same thing that happened, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do the, the same thing I did before. With the walls. Copy component. Place component values. Remove component. Oh, sorry. We're going for point oh one. Right. Use the that ring in there. Everything else is the same. Copy this guy, drop it all over here. So do you guys know why you can see only the only one side of these of these uh, meshes? 
because they're, they're planes. That's what planes are. You can only see one flag of them. And even with planes that have plane colliders, you can go through one side and not go out the other, which is actually pretty important for some other things as well. So, copy this, copy this collider again, put that bad boy in here, reset the center of this. Um, now we're going to pick our X. And then to run to right there, right? Yeah. Let's copy this, drop that right there. Cool. So that's fine. I'll give everything else colliders later. Let's make these guys a TT. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. So now that we have colliders here on everything to put a ceiling. Cool. Ceilings are colliders. Now play it won't fall. So now let's pull this as new build. So, we're going to this thing, this guy. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the chat, I will gladly answer them. Cool, so we're here. Let's, uh, I need to make myself bigger. My so now, first up, let's test, let's test this back. Oh wait, we can actually walk through this because well, it's not a glider. So open this door. Hmm, whatever. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk through this and watch what happens. Nothing happens. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make it a trigger then. You make it a trigger then. So. Okay, first of all, I'll go off that tab. Get rid of those errors, I don't actually need anything. This guy, right? So, this box slider. Right, so now I can get to cool. Let's uh, make this a little bit. Uh, Give us a teensy bit this way. Uh, no. It should be Z. No, it's Y. Try one one eight no one one two right and then we're going to this door see this this front this this part that we highlighted before this guy let's give this a box which which is the same thing because I'm bad at this game okay so let's not do that 
I can give this thing three mini colliders so that uh, players can. Or what I can do is I can sort of conditionally enable the trigger, but uh, I don't really want to do that. I think it's easier if the trigger's just there the whole time. So. Wait, why is it? What? Oh, I guess do a bit lower. Huh. You can see inside of the room. Yep. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna add a box counter to this. So that's, um... Why, wait. Why is the box lighter over there, really? Oh. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna do this. For each of these guys, we have to box lighter, right? Now there are four box layers here. And we're going to take this and we're going to make it. We're going to give this guy three colors. Or actually, we'll just. I'll oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I know I'm not. Box layer, so this is going to be. Yeah, I'll have to like work on this a little bit. But hello, Kokichi Jr. Hello, friend. How are you? Um, I'm gonna. I'll do this later. Trigger. That's what I'm gonna do. What do we make this trigger? So if it's a trigger, we don't use N9 to collide. We use N2 trigger. It behaves the same way. Oh, hello, Chaos. Hello, hello. Um, cool. So now let's go ahead and give you a little more down what's happening here. Um, yep. Yeah, I knew you were someone who ranked new Chaos. I just didn't know which. which. So, have you ever played Virtues as a word? So I'm saying, uh, have you ever played this game, Virtue's Last Reward, at all? Do you know what this is, what they're not making? Oh, okay. Yeah, so anyways, it's a, a visual novel created by Spike Chunsoft, and it's another killing game type thing. Really? Never had that happen to me when I was testing a world. Or wherever. I guess it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> it's specifically local. Cool. So this is the map that I pulled ripped from the game. This is the nine door. This is the door that everyone's trying to escape from. These are the ambidex rooms that people vote in. And people play against each other. So you can hear a little thing here. So I'd go here, right? Oh no. I can't move through this because it has a collider, right? So press this little thingy. Or brings the gate. I can hear the sound. Stands gate is a good one. Cool. Thanks. So open the gate. So I go here. What? 
Are they? I guess I'm not doing it right. I guess I'm not doing it right. I will fix this. I do not understand why this is not working. Um, yeah, so let me just double check that what, exactly what. So I have this object, which is active, right? That when I walk into it, it's a trigger. So that when the, on enter trigger, right? The, uh, the player will teleport to this thing. Align room for destination. Yes. Um, trigger individuals. So, oh, oh, so, let me just make sure this thing doesn't have any other colliders. That's messing this up. Because it might just be like a fact that. So, if this goes away, then this collider goes away. But then if we. Yes, right? So there's the collider. Oh, hey, Tom's, uh, it's going good. How about you? Uh, get off this VR chat to have it. gets me every time. You see, you see this lag? Okay. So now I have to just like this, right? So that's, that's definitely it. So as we, as we expected, oh wait, maybe not. Let's, let's move this guy a little bit forward, a little bit. Cool. So now let's try this again. Yeah. Um, so let's try this one more time. And let's update the sound as well. This one will be um, a tenuity. Whatever. There's a loop. Hmm. What? No, here. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Whatever. Cool. Let's let's try this one more time. Build. Got the sad. Get off this tab. I guess I can't get off the tab. Oh no. So. Yeah. I consider listening to music from the actual game. But I'm like, eh. I just like chills out of the music. It's, it's my thing. Just try this one more time. Can't go through. Open day. Really? Okay. I don't have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Well, can I actually get through? Nope. Cool. Anyways, um, this is legitimately confusing because it's a trigger. It's on to trigger. Okay, let me use the map to fix some things. On exit to the um, uh, to collider. I know where I know I have on enter collider for for the uh, doors. Maybe they're on, on enter trigger. Let's just. Do this, let's just cheat. Oh wait, maybe that's it. Maybe we have to Cool, let's make this. Let's just do this, right? Put this here. 
And now let's test to see if it works. Because I've definitely had a lot of issues before in the past with colliders that were um, touching other things and just they were, it just doesn't work when colliders touch other things as well. So let's let's see that. Hopefully we can teleport to the AV room now. There's no way out, but yeah. Let's uh hopefully we can do that. Okay, watch this. Bam. Okay, something is borked. I have no idea. I want to reopen my other map and check what it is. Maybe it is Trigger. Go. Yeah. I literally haven't touched collision triggers in a while. One avatar hit. <laughs> So this is the box that is trigger. Um no, no it's fine, I'm gonna I'm generally uh trying to make this as easy as follow as possible. If you have any questions please uh say something. Because this is meant to sort of be a video to help everyone um learn how to build maps. So So this is a box collider what, coll um who built the beach. The beach was um uh, forgetting her name. Yeah. Kit, yeah, it was Kit Ballard. She built the beach. Um, she was apparently streaming building the beach and all that stuff and did not tag me, so I didn't know until it was actually released, but... But yeah, if this doesn't work, I'll just make it a pick trigger for now, and I'll, I'll do that later. But yeah, it was Kit. Um, so... Basically what this is, is triggers um, are ways that trigger events in VRChat. So because it's a box collider and this is a trigger here, we can use this on enter trigger event. And what this does is you can, when this event triggers, then you have to, then you pick an action to trigger, or pick an action to result. Teleport players is one of them, another one is a certain game object active. If game maps objects are disabled, they don't show up. So yeah. So for example, when I press the the red uh, scanner, what that does is that disables the game object that has all four of the, the door thingies. And then since that has a collider on it, it lets the player pass through. I don't think I've ever been on the beach map. I need to really play more. Yeah. Okay, click off the tab. Please. Whatever. Good. Well, it's not right here. Uh, not press S, press W. So, now, we're going to... Let's do it. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't work. I will fix this. Anyways, so this is what a trigger looks like. Right. So now let's let's do that same thing. Um. So this here, right? So we're gonna make this the pick trigger. So we're gonna say on um, interact, the same thing happens, right? So this is not gonna be a trigger anymore because triggers players can pass through. Oh no, we're gonna lift this up a little bit. 
a little bit backwards, make it a little bit bigger, bigger, a little bit bigger, about 33, that's too big. Keyboard on the inside of it. Cool. So now I will show you for realsies what this does. Yeah, I don't know what map you're saying, but I know I did give some assets to Miss Yamato to make her map. Test new build. Yeah. As in the actual uh, the um, trial setting layout, because the rest of her stuff is not specific to my map. She just used her own stuff, except for the, the trial room. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, come on. Come on, Layton. Come on, Layton. Move faster. So, right? Open this. Why can't I pick? Is my. I can't pick. Whatever. Maybe it has to have an actual. Mesh or something. That, that doesn't make any sense though. And it's not colliding with anything, right? So it's not colliding with any, any other meshes. Oh, it is. That's why. Yeah. So let's make the height. Uh, right. Let's make it lower. Uh, oh, can't be. Pulsing bottle. What's a pulsing bottle? I have no idea. Cool. Oh, oh, the wine bottle is what changing stuff. Uh. -huh. Huh. Maybe it had an animation on it that I triggered that. But yes. Huh. I have no idea what your pulsing line bottle did, uh, but there was a reason for it. I guarantee you. Yeah, that's the, the cursed murder weapon. But yes. So now we're going to open the door. And not be able to pick this because like Yeah, because there's nothing there. Might be able to only uh, pick things that have meshes. Let me just give it a mesh and see what happens. Mesh. Number. Cool. So if this does not work. Well, it shouldn't work. Whatever, let's just remove this, right? And make this a uh, property of the floor, right? Where's the floor? 33, right? Wait. Okay, so you see that white line? No, no. The 
right line links it to where it's connected to. So you see how it connects over there? That means that when you want to teleport, it moves over there. You, you would move over there. Drop into 33, to the floor. Um, we're gonna copy this component, but this thing already has. Nice enough. Ooh. Um. Box collider. Right. So now we're actually gonna move this upwards a little bit. Point two. No, no, no. Point two. Point. Wait. Okay, um, cool, so that's that, so this is going to be the trigger, and we're going to copy the same exact logic here, copy this component, paste the component, and it's almost on enter trigger, uh, it's also a player, it'd be spot, right, so now we don't need this anymore, and because it's a mesh, it'll hopefully, uh, work. So I'll be right back while this thing loads. If it doesn't work, I'll just sort of move the player to the AB room and work off there. Rebuild. Be right back. Cool, so we are in. Here, right? Um, and I got these templates. Try this again. Right. Oh. Okay, I guess it doesn't. Huh. I'll work again. Whatever. Okay, so um, here's how we cheat. So we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna cut you to this room. So we have an AB spawn, right? So we're gonna spawn over there. Spawn right all the way over here with this room. That's the screen. So I'm going to add the ally betray screen here so that we can pick ally every time, right? So this is the screen. So we're gonna do um create empty and then we're gonna do this in a sprite render because I have a sprite for this. And we were going to add our sprite, which is an image that I pulled from the internet. Uh, so the reason I can't do this is because this is not a sprite. You just set the image to be sprite, and then apply, and then you can drag it over here, as you can see. Okay, cool. So now we have this image, which is super huge. 
um, because this thing is a hundred in scale, even then, 0 0.01. Whatever, let's just use this freaking scaling tool. Um, let's move it up a little bit. So, this is supposed to go over on this thing on that platform. Let's rotate. Rotate. That's where it's supposed to go. So, um. Tool. So this needs to be still a little bit smaller. Five. What? Oh. Cool. So that's the screen. You can move it. Um, you rotate it just a teensy bit more. This is zero, zero. This is gonna be forty. No. Okay, cool. So now we got a little screen here. And that was good. Nice. Cool. So we have our screen from the actual game. Choices between Ally and Betray. So now we want to add, um, Options for voting ally and voting betray, right? So now we want to add box collider. What the box collider? The reason I added here too, so that we have the really dimensions. values. One, two, three, four, right, so four, one, two, oh, five is better. Let's move this guy. And then this one will have to be point two, right? Yeah, so uh, zero, zero, this one to be one. Yeah. So we want this to be a little bit up or a bit out, so that because it's not it can't be inside of the thing. Okay, good. So that's a good spot for it. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. And then we're gonna copy this over down here. And then we're gonna move it down. It's always hard to get these things right. So I'm like, we're gonna like local. Cool. So that's good. So, so now we're going to add. Uh, make this called uh, one, and then betray one. So what this will do is we'll add the same thing we tried to get before but didn't work. Um, on interact, add mm, ally. Doesn't not do anything at this point. Cool. So. Now that we have these two interactions and they have box colliders, we should be able to. Which it triggers. Yeah, triggers. So you don't want to use your colliders anymore. Cool, so now let's go ahead and play this game. Okay, Oh, 
probably gonna um, call it after a little bit, but yeah. I really want to get the floor working where you open the door and you go in the room and you vote and you record your vote. That'd be so hype. Fifteen. Wait, what did I even do? That added size. Oh, that asset? That, that asset was a megabyte? Oh, no. Okay, so this is the room, right? Um, you can see... Uh, oh, I, 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 I hacked myself. Fuck. <laughs> if only I could jump. Well, where was going to respawn? Cool, we're back here. Anyways, um, why is this purple? So, this is purple. Yeah, I found myself. I don't know how. There, we see this wonderful room. So now, this is purple, pink, for I don't know what reason. Um, and I can go to ally but try So I can click on these, but they don't do anything. And now, so now we're going to exit and we're going to get them to do things. That's a, it's, it's a spray. It's literally a spray. So I don't know why it did that. Maybe they just don't allow sprites anymore. I like sprites. I personally love sprites. Yeah. Am I gonna have to make some material? Well, let's just try it. Create material. Um, uh, try drag this over here. That's the text of the material, right? This thing. I mean, I've used sprites forever. Um. Maybe it's the sprite stuff all material. Material. I don't think so. I'll look and see if uh either way, let's remove this. Uh, mesh render arbitrary. Let's add a mesh filter. Okay. We're not, we're not playing. So, like I said, things you can see through one side, right? So, see through the side. Why is ally red and betray green? Because the u the screenshot I took was when the user was highlighting over ally. I might fix this. I generally use default, um, but yeah. So let's do this. Let's drop, drag these out, off. Let's rotate this the right way. Zero. Just the right way again. Let's, let's do more work. Let's work on like this. Wait. Blue. Wait, right, one of Zero. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna probably take a better screenshot. One that has the betray as red. But yeah, either way. But... So now this thing will be a teensy bit more wide. And then we're going to lift this up a little bit. A little bit. Oh, 
Well, so now let's make this. Oh, okay, this one. okay, so it's this one. I need to make it a little bigger, it's a teensy bit. Is this MM? This is a map that will be for a game mode that is not Burger Mystery, but it will be similar enough that you will like it, I guarantee. So same thing. Um, let's let's do a, another sound test there. So copy the sound. Use the finish round but sound. So the finish round sound is gonna play once you select one of these buttons, right? So let's do this. So these two drop in here, and we're going to say for either of these things. We're going to, when you interact with them, so when you click on them, you want to set game object active, right? So we're going to set this thing to false, because we want the voting thing to go away. And we also want set game object active for the sound that we just had to be true, right? And this one is going to be finish round. And with it, we can also trigger different thingies as well. So now let's try this. Rebuild. I gotta go eat dinner soon, but yeah, this is hopefully the last thing that we'll, we'll be able to do. Just wake up a little bit of staff meeting. And then we're gonna do uh, Disney karaoke night, so it should be fun. 15.33 megabytes. Cool, so um, we need to rotate this again, but other way. Cool, so you now uh, wonderful ally, which one are you gonna pick? Which one you want me to pick? Guys, tell me. I, I have a hard time choosing. A hard time. I like it today. I like it today. I like it today. I'll pick that line. So I'm gonna pick this. Watch this goes away, right? And we cannot hear the sound because the sound is. The sound is all the way in the other area. Yeah, so the sound is, like, even if I respawn, right, it'll respawn me here. So because the sound is, um, it's not generic. It's not, it's not, it's, yeah, it's a 3D sound, but it's, it shouldn't be. Maybe I can just, maybe that's what it is, getting rid of the RSBR users. Either way, so um, sound right. Let's be honest. Move this. Let's save that. And then move 
Das war das mit unserem. We can also move the sound. So the sound emanates from an object. What I'm trying to do is get the sound so that it plays the same no matter where you are in the map. Which there is an easy way to do. I'm just dumb and I forgot how to do it. But yeah. We're gonna we'll uh we'll betray next time. We'll betray this time. Yeah, get to uh, get off the town. Or yeah, rotate this. Come on, come on. Come on. Is there an error? Is that, is that what's happening? Do I need that? No, it must be right as well. Ah, I thought, okay, maybe I do. Okay. Ma B, you need no SP audio source on these things. Two thousand. Zero one megabytes more. Cool. So let's listen closely. Ah, yeah, I can't hear. Whatever. I'll do it later. I'll fix it later. I just do not know what's happening for any of this. Once I figure out the sounds, I'm gonna figure out why triggers and stuff aren't working. Then I will be able to provide you a better experience. Where's it? Spawn back. This mesh. The trigger is on to trigger. Is that really it? Let me try one more time. Uh, nothing. Fire. Trigger individuals. Can hear a lot of things, but cross my fingers it actually works this time. I gotta change the spawn too. Change this to the spawn. Okay, this is the last thing for sure. Now I gotta go read dinner. This game seems to require a lot of complex coding if I want to get it right. Because it requires a bunch of timers and things to be only be enabled for specific players. So we'll have to see. Oh, 
Okay. I have no idea why I can't do this because it's a trigger. I just have to be able to jump. Nice. Cool. So that's the extent of what I got now. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to hit me up, ping me, do whatever. But um, thanks for watching the stream. I'm gonna stream a lot more of this uh, in the future. So uh, thanks.